All right, so here's what it looks like. Oh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look. Typical uh, jam preserve type look. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have a new box to my channel. It's the Fruit for Thought box. It's been around a while, probably longer than I've been unboxing. So I think, I mean, I remember seeing it from the beginning, like two, two and a half years ago. It's always been on my radar and the curator reached out to me and asked if I wanted to, to um, review it for you guys for free. So I'm very grateful to the curator. Thank you so much. I am really excited to show this to everybody and I have a discount code for you guys for it and everything. Um, this is what I'm showing because the front is my address. So there's a sticker there. Hopefully that's centered. And if you guys want to see what this month's yummy pomegranate rhubarb theme is going to bring for us, then please stay tuned. All right, everyone, I'm already super impressed by their customized tissue paper. I think this is fantastic. Different fruits for the box, fruit for thought. I love their sticker and logo. I'm going to open this very carefully so I can save this for who knows, future uses, thumbnails, we'll set you how you'll know by the time I post this. All right, so this is what I see when I open the box. I'm just gonna do a quick glance for you guys and then we're going to the side. I really do love that tissue paper. So December's theme is pomegranate rhubarb, as I said. And just to let you know guys, the January theme is tutti frutti if you're interested in ordering and signing up. Um, let's see, they announced their themes ahead of time, which I really like. Uh, so February, guys, wait for this. February is Black Cherry Chocolate Chip. Um, yum. Yes, please. And March is Avocado Toast, which would be very much appropriate because I'm wearing my avocado bracelet today. So, uh, let's see. This card is, the, the um, functions, functions as the product guide. So let's just get right into the box, shall we? We saw one item. At the top already that was spoiled let's see this is by the brand retro corn it's a rhubarb and custard popcorn with cat crushed sweets popped in great britain with traditional british sweets it's gluten-free and vegan yes if you guys uh you probably know by now by listening to my channel but i am gluten-free and vegan or not really vegan, just uh, dairy-free rather, but I often look for vegan at this point um, in products and um, due to migraine prevention. So I can eat these and I'm super excited that I can eat these. So it's really nice uh, to have foods in boxes that I can eat. I like, I appreciate boxes that are sensitive to any dietary restrictions and there's no artificial color or flavors. So you know we gotta look at these, right? I've never heard of anything like this. I just think this is really cool since these are from the Great Britain to see the nutrition labels and how they differ from the US and I know you guys are like oh this is boring but I actually studied nutrition for a year in college and um, it's it's cool that they call instead of cal calories it's listed as energy but you know calories are basically the energy of the food um, and I could get more technical than that but that is super cool so I'm going to get into these. I know I just had to look at the back. Um, it's literally from Essex, the UK. So let's see. And many of my uh, UK subscribers let me know if you've heard of this brand before. All right, so I just had a bite. It pretty much looks like regular popcorn. Um, it's really, really good. It, it, I can, I'm glad I got to taste this because I couldn't exactly recall if I've ever had rhubarb. So now I know what it tastes like. It's it's definitely fruity, but I, I can't, I'm not sure if there's a fruit like it. The closest might be literally pomegranate. Um, these are really, really good. They're just, they are a bit sweet. So if, if you're like me, how you're not really used to much sugar anymore, it, it kind of goes straight to your head. But other than that, I really like these. Um, I think they're, they're, it's like almost like a candied pop. I mean, they literally are candied. So it's like a candied popcorn. That is a really nice. I definitely want to have more of those after this unboxing. I am so excited about the next product, you guys. Strawberry Rhubarb Preserves. Yes. It's by Hunter and Hillsburg. And up, it looks like it's made in the Finger Lakes, so that's in New York. That sounds really cool. I'll see what the product guide says about them. I forgot to read from the product guide here, but I said everything that I needed to. 
Um, this is HunterHillsburg.com. It's a delicious, it's delicious on toast or with cottage cheese, yogurt, or granola. Some folks eat it plain out of the jar. I do want to open this up. Um, man, if I could still eat dairy, I, I would love this on cottage cheese, I bet. I used to put apple butter on cottage cheese. Um, but I could still do kind of like a peanut butter and jelly thing kind of thing. I'll have to see how that goes with the strawberry part. Um, but something like that on gluten-free bread. Um, simple ingredients that, because it tastes better. It's, it's vegan, dairy-free, nut-free, GMO-free, all-natural, grain-free, made in the Finger Lakes. It's basically just cane, sh cane sugar, strawberries, rhubarb, lemon, and pectin. So, yeah, it's nice when it's simple eating, easy ingredients like that as well. And I am a sucker for jams and jellies. So I'm so excited. All right, so here's what it looks like. Oh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look. Typical uh, jam preserve type look. All right, I did just dip into it. It's really, really good. It's a little bit sweet, but um, most people would love this for as a jam or a jelly. It's got 11 grams of sugar in it per serving. I just don't eat too much things with sugar, but I think maybe balanced with peanut butter or something, it would work. Uh, honestly, I would probably like it better without the strawberry. I, I, I see what they're doing because rhubarb can be tight, um, tart, so they're trying to pair it with something sweet like strawberry, but to me, strawberry is a little bit too sweet. Not my favorite flavor, but that's just me. Um, I think this is a fantastic Many people, many of you will love this kind of thing if you like jams and fruit, fruit jams and preserves. Um, I, I, I do really like it. I, a little bit goes a long way, I think, for me. But so far, loving this yummy box of treats. All right, you guys, who would have thought? We got two pomegranate face masks, 15-minute uh, mask pack. We've got two right here. That's super cool, and I love the, the beautiful picture of a pomegranate there. Juicy pomegranate, and let's see, the product guide has more about these because they do look like they are K-Beauty, which is even better. It's it's by the brand Nature, N-A-I-S-T-U-R-E, or Nature, <laughs> it's best that I spell it. They improve elasticity while softening the skin, leaving it in your face healthy and glowing. Each box receives two masks. Very nice. I, I That's a really cool product. I always... Everybody always loves a good face mask. So I'm going to shift around in the squigglies to find the next item. Oh, wow. This is this is by the brand Moira, M-O-I-R-A. It's a pomegranate boost toner mist. Never in my wildest dreams would I have expected something like this in a, in a fruit for thought box, and I love it. Restoring and balancing clean, oh, and clean beauty even better. All skin types made in Korea, so we've got another K-Beauty product, I believe. All right, you guys, so I just sprayed some onto the um, to, into the air and onto my hand. This smells so good. I think this, this will be nice and refreshing on the face as a toner. Um, just, oh, and it's got a nice mist. The mist really came out in like a really wide, kind of like, you know, cone of a nice mist. And just a really, really, really nice smell. Mmm, that smells so good. I think I like the smell of pomegranate. I haven't, I guess we haven't technically smelled rhubarb yet, have we? Um, but it's cruelty-free, so you guys know paraben-free, gluten-free, and sulfate, and the other word, the, the phthalate, pethylate, sorry that I can never say with a P, <laughs> P-H-T, pethylate, something like that, free. So, very clean beauty, I like it. it smells wonderful. I did just want to tell you some additional things about the toner from the product guide. It's a pomegranate boost toner mist by Moira Cosmetics. It's an ultra fine mist infused with pomegranate to instantly help renew and balance your complexion, lock in moisture after cleansing before makeup application, or as a refresher throughout the day. So they were right about being ultra fine mist. It definitely is, and I think that looks amazing. Uh, so moving right along, you guys, we have this gourmet lollipop which just looks all kinds of good. Um, it's the most delicious pomegranate and raspberry. Ooh, pomegranate and raspberry. I love raspberry. Gourmet lollipop you will ever taste, combining the sweet and mild sour taste of pomegranate with the deliciousness of raspberries. And 
It doesn't have the brand on the product product guide, but it, I think it it says it's original gourmet right right there on the packaging. So I think that's what it is. Pomegranate raspberry, yummy, 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 yummy. I'm going to enjoy that very much. All right, last I believe is you guys know I love a good bracelet. In case you can't tell, handmade even better. This is handmade with love. It's by the brand uh, Jill Zara. I think that's the company right there handmade clay jewelry designed in Chicago so this looks absolutely gorgeous I'll um, take it out of the packaging all right each clay bead has the most intricate designs on them some are swirls hopefully you can see these if not I'll try to get a good, get a good picture and either insert it or put it on Instagram or both uh, some are more like animal print beads there's Let's see, oh, there's this one here, it almost looks like some type of like picture of a galaxy with a little indent in there. There's just, these beads are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so let's see, I've got my avocado bracelet on. Without um, taking, I will take the tag off eventually, but this is really pretty. Don't know what that is exactly, but it fit on my wrist. It's a little, yeah, it's pretty, fits pretty well. A little bit big, but it was it was easy enough to stretch on. So this is absolutely stunning, and I'm a, I think after a while it will conform to my wrist better. That is super cool, you guys. I'm super excited. We got a bracelet, and this this brochure tells a little bit about uh, the clip making of the clay beads. If you know anything about clay uh, projects. It says, our clay is handmade by skilled artists combining modern and old world layering techniques. The result is a stunning blend of color and texture that looks and feels like and, and, and feels unlike anything you've worn before. So here's some pictures of some of their other, of their other work. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous, definitely colorful, something to put in a box. So oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a little bit of a brochure. Um, something colorful to put in a box with a fruit theme. I love it. And mine is just gorgeous. I'm wondering now if they're all the same or if, if everyone in the box gets different ones. This one is particularly kind of a light pinkish. I really like that bead. This is just really, really nice. There's definitely some of the clay beads. This one has like a marbled texture to it. It's all really, really cool. So let me take this off in case you guys didn't get a good look. I love this bracelet, you guys. All right, so I did not read it from the product guide. I, I figured out what this was from it. It's a rectangular shaped handcrafted clay beads strung together with a silver accent. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Um, and it's a beautiful pomegranate and rhubarb colored stretch bracelet. Now I'm, I'm not really, I don't know what color rhubarb actually looks like. I mean, but based on this jam, I mean, everything I've seen, I'm thinking it's reddish, but I wouldn't say that we have anything as dark as a pomegranate on here, um, but I'm not complaining. This is a gorgeous bracelet nonetheless, and this, it is silver accent. It might look gold in the lighting. I'm not sure, but this part is silver, just so you know. Uh, regardless of the colors, I really like it. They're very light and um i think i'm gonna be googling rhubarb after this probably should have done that beforehand just to get a picture of what the fruit itself looks like but there you have it you guys we got one two three four five six products one two three four five six this box is actually a little more food heavy than i normally see when i've unboxed watch some of their other unboxings but that's fine with me i really love um lots of yummy foods and stuff like that to eat it's basically, so in case you guys um, didn't know about this box, it's a gift subscription for with fun, fruity scents, flavors, and colors. They've had some kitchen gadgets in the past. You might get uh, candles or other scented products. You know, like this time we got the scented toner, and obviously I'm assuming the face masks might have scents. Um, and it's usually some type of food and things like that. Obviously, it would vary from theme to theme. And it's $39.95 a month, and it's cheaper with prepaid options. And I have a code for you guys. Put in JESSE10, and you can get 10% off any subscription length or any product in their store. They have a few past boxes in their store. So if you missed out on some of them, like November was Caramelized Pear. That one looked amazing. 
Uh, that one is for sale in the box in the store as, as last I looked. Um, and hopefully it still will be if anybody's interested. So check out their store. A few of their past uh, themes are in the store. And I told you what the next, you know, again, January is Tutti Fruity. So, and I believe this pomegranate and rhubarb one should still be available. You might want to check before you sub sign up for the subscription if you are signing up for pomegranate and rhubarb. But it would ship right away. With At this point, it wouldn't ship and arrive before Christmas. That's, I think I'm going to be putting this up before Christmas. <laughs> if I said that too prematurely, then I will fix it. Um... So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this box. Uh, I For $39.95, I mean, I think this handmade item really makes it. I think the bracelet is my favorite item. Um, I just really, really love these intricate clay beads. I've never really seen anything quite as beautiful as this and handmade. Um, I What else do I like? I like everything. Um, I think this toner mist has the best scent in terms of representing pomegranate and representing the fruit. I mean, obviously we have real fruit flavors here and I haven't tried the lollipop yet. Um, I really do. Don't get me wrong. I really do like the preserves. Uh, I and, and I just, you know, I don't even need preserves plain usually. So that's probably why it tasted so sweet. Usually I have it balanced with a protein like peanut butter. So I really enjoyed eating these too. The, the getting an actual taste of what rhubarb was was really really nice. So yeah, I really like this box. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much again to the company for sending this to me free for my review and to share with my wonderful viewers. Uh, it was greatly appreciated and thank you guys for hanging out with me as I unboxed December's Fruit for Thought box and if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up it helps me it helps my channel take a look at this beautiful end card here and see what other types of content I have to offer for you guys and until next time guys I'll catch you later bye